to show you a clip that I've been seeing going around Twitter lately from a reformed pastor in America called Joel Webin. I'm not familiar with him until this, but he's been causing a bit of an issue, you could say, on Christian Twitter. Um, yeah, see the clip and then you'll see maybe why. There are certain books that I, I've just had to say, hey, um, I don't know if this is a bad book, but I don't have time to read it. And so you're not going to read it either. I remember recently my wife had a book and I saw her reading it on the couch. And it was about pedo baptism. And I said, no, we're not doing that yet. We will become pedo baptists when I'm ready. But my wife's not going to be a pedo baptist for three years before I am. And I don't have time to read it right now. But for the, the time being, this is what I'm persuaded of, and you're not going to outpace me. And that's not, for the record, that's not lazy. No, it's not lazy. It's crazy and very, very controlling. Like what? Twitter discussions ensued, lots of arguments back and forth. Most people were being like, you know, this is a bit mental. A lot of his followers came out the woodwork and were like, you know, he just listened to the whole sermon in context. You will understand. And I did. I mean, they posted a different video, but I've watched the original one in context. And the clip says the same thing. He's basically just like, you know. I mean, the irony is he was trying to preach against tyranny of dictating other people's study habits. And then says this about his wife. Anyway, the next clip is his sort of defense of this that he puts out. A particular example I gave was this. I said that a husband has a, a degree of authority even regards to what books his wife might read. And I talked about the danger of certain women's Bible studies. And I stand by this 100%. And they're utilizing certain materials and books and curriculum also written by women, uh, but the women who have provided these materials are not sound in the faith. And things get wacky. They get wacky. So if things get wacky, why, surely you just want to have better discernment. Like, don't just outright ban people from reading things or outlaw women's Bible studies or whatever, or don't allow your wife to go to them. Why not just be like, hey, if you see a book, and it's new, you don't recognize the author, Google it, look them up, see what people say about them, see what they say, look at the reviews, see if there's anyone you trust in leadership that's read it and said something, warned against it, recommended it. It takes like five minutes to look up something like that. And yeah, there are wacky things out there, but there's no need to be like this controlling. I mean, this is, it's just weird. What do you think? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments.